First and foremost, transformation through or traumatic change in form or appearance. That is the pure definition of transformation. So with that being said, let's get started. Transformation that I really love is great ape form. Now, when I first seen this, I thought it was amazing, right? Um, these Saiyans are crazy. This is their like go-to move, especially all Saiyans. Not really all Saiyans. This is their go-to move. This is how they capture planets. If you don't know, um, Frieza used to send, uh, you know, the younglings, and they would capture a planet. That's what Goku was sent to do to Earth, you know, um, at such a young age too. But that's how devastating the power is when it comes to these great apes. They do huge, crazy mouth beams and blast. They just rampage. They have no control. I really like this transformation. I like how it. it you, they just do it. I like how Gohan did it. Um, Ozaru, the golden one, how it is in Xeno. I really like these transformations, it, uh, especially, especially <laughs> the grade eight transformation, right? It's one of my favorites. Um, as you're seeing right here, it's just amazing. It's legendary and it's amazing. It's one of my favorite transformations, but there is the great ape. Let me know what you guys feel about the uh, great ape transformation. I mean, like even the fact that it takes the moon for you to even do the transformation is crazy. I like that aspect too. Especially like Vegeta, when he transformed and he had all the control, it was amazing, right? They're, they're always great in Xeno as bosses. I really love this transformation. Great ape form. Now, no slouch himself, man. All oh, might. This transformation, okay? Now, this is an ultimate transformation, right? Because this is, this is pretty cool, especially for the show. He's the ultimate hero. He's the number one hero for a very long time. He's the guy. He had um, all for one. Um, yeah, and he, he, yeah, he's just amazing, man. Look at All Might, man. <laughs> just look. But from going crackhead skinny to just immensely diesel like that, I really like this transformation and the way it looks. Um, he did keep some of the power in, in some, you know, in some instances, like doing like the Detroit Smash, Oklahoma Smash, United States and all that stuff, right? He did do devastating damage in his crackhead form, but this, I'm talking about the ultra, ultra All Might form, you know, in the purest form. Now, he used to be like, like, he never used to be skinny like this. He used to be like slightly kind of muscular, you know, but never like the true All Might form. Like this, this All Might form is crazy. The man has immense strength, ability, agilities, just enhanced everything. The number one top hero for a reason. And it's one of my favorite transformations in, um, yeah, in all the anime, honestly, <laughs> is All Might. All right, give it up for All Might. Oh, yes. Sage Six Paths Naruto. Now, this one's a good one. All right, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, now, I could have picked and choose of which Naruto one to put it in, but this one has to be my favorite simply because all the hacks this man had. I mean, it, this man had all the hacks. You know, it's like going in Fortnite and, and you're the last two people left and you have a bazooka, the hammer, and you have the Deku punch. Like, he's coming in with everything, right? This guy's coming in with everything. Now, he had orbs truth seeking orbs that can just kill you right he had these like rod bomba sticks right <laughs> that you're dead with those flying raijin like he had every nature known to man he was throwing spamming Russian shurikens like lava style magnet style like any type of style Russian shuriken you can think of he has a sage of six pass power plus um karamas put together with the sage mode it's, it's amazing. This this is the most broken Naruto to me. Now I know there's Byron mode or Byron or Baron mode, whatever the f you want to call it, right? But um, I for one, I really really like this mode. I really like this mode. All right, top tier man. Again, with all the hacks, like I just said, he had everything he needed. Right now, this was the, this was the pinnacle time of the war. This was pivotal scenes where you see this guy, and the fact that Sasuke could even match this is it's insane. Right, that just lets you know the writing is insane. But this is my pick, man. Sage of Six Path Naruto, that transformation is insane. Oh uh, well, yes. Um, definitely, definitely Yugi to Yami, alright, that's one of my favorite transformations, alright, now watching those Saturday morning cartoons, okay, this was something to see, now you know it was serious, you know it was serious when he switched to Yami, okay, when Yami came out, 
the ancient one, I'm telling you, it was over. Duels finna be handled. Everything finna be handled, man. He came in there like a superhero, right? Like, it's just a personality thing, too, right? It's kind of crazy. Like, they're both just different, Yugi and Yami. But that transformation, you can just tell. Just the appearance, the look, how the eyes go slanted, the seriousness. He gained some height. It is all, oh, man. That transformation was crazy, man. All oh, just a duel, too. Just to play some cards. The man transforms just to play cards. It's insane. And watching it every time was fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is one of my favorite transformations, man. You know it's you know it's serious when when Yami comes out. And the fact that RDC World plays it so good too is hilarious, right? Because it's real serious when Yami breaks out. <laughs> but Yami, definitely Yugi to Yami, a good one. And of course we have Frieza. All right, now Frieza's transformation is super super legendary, right? Um, again, man, I'm watching these as a kid and I marvel at these things like his first transformation Just to be specific. I'm talking about what well, I think it's called the third his third transformation When were he super small? They so like right so one where he we first see him He's suppressing his power. So that's not even really his true form He's suppressing his power at that form when he transformed he, he went from like 10 feet tall horns like the devil he went crazy immense with power and only person can match him at that time was piccolo then piccolo was getting bodied right so much so that Pic he had to transform again then he got that xenomorph you know um frieza i think it's second form or third form head he got i i i, I mix up with the forms but I mean, he got that long head and you know he was zapping um piccolo you know he had the little you know death beam shooters um that was crazy and each transformation adds power to it more power the more tra the more he transforms which is cool then the final one he did where he was short and bald he killed dende you know that good one the one we all know him for um and then even went gold in the newer anime so i mean like it keeps going recently he's even went black <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> he's even turned black so he the transformations for frieza keep going and they keep evolving and i really i really dig it i really dig frieza's character I feel like that's really one thing he does is transform and when it comes to transformations man these are top these are top transformations okay all right <laughs> check these out but yeah free frieza absolutely his transformation well, that'll be all for me, man. Of course, we're going to have another top five, man. I know you guys are like, are you missing some? But I, I'm going to do another top five. I got some ones that I really do like. More and more to come. Make sure y'all hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And I'll see y'all in the next episode, man. Peace. Put those fires in the chat. Put those feelings in the chat. Put those thoughts in the chat. Put those blessings in the chat!